fouling line, ready for the start. They're off in the Preakness. Lonnie was away slowly again. Nyquist had a good beginning, and Uncle Lino goes with him, and so does Awesome Speed. So they surround Nyquist early on. Collected is going up and is close up to the pace, running in fourth early on. Then Lauban, followed by Abiding Star, who's sitting behind the front runners today. And then it's Stradivari. Exaggerator is a good 13 lengths off of Nyquist, who's head and head up front with Uncle Lino going into that turn. Then Fellowship, and at the back of the field are Cherry Wine and Lauban. The pace is very, very fast, a 22 and one opening quarter mile. So Nyquist is forced to work early here. He's got Lau Ban on his inside, and Awesome Speed is running in third just behind the leaders. Then collected, followed by Stradivari toward the inside, who's about four lengths off the lead. Lau Ban is next. Now Exaggerator is down on the inside. Kent DeSormo has him about six lengths off the lead, and Nyquist is up front. His nemesis is five lengths ahead of him as Exaggerator makes steady progress on the rail. Up front, it is Uncle Lino who continues to cling to Nyquist. Nyquist with a head in front, and on their outside, Awesome Speed. And there's Exaggerator. He's so much closer today after a 46 and two half mile, and they move for the far turn. Uncle Lino has been pressuring Nyquist the whole way. Awesome Speed is third, collected fourth, Stradivari, and Exaggerator is right on the rail. And he's two lengths off the lead, and Uncle Lino continues to battle Nyquist on the far turn. Exaggerator and Stradivari are both in contention. And now Mario Gutierrez is asking Nyquist for his run, and they're into the stretch, and it's Nyquist in front. His adversary, Exaggerator, got a jump on him, and he's gone by to take the lead as they come to the gate pole. It is Exaggerator in front. Now, Nyquist switches back to the outside. Exaggerator down to the 16th pole. The gutty Nyquist is coming at him in second, and then Stradivari followed by Cherry Wine, but Exaggerator has turned the tables. He has won the break the stakes. It was very close for a second. Nyquist and Cherry Wine were right together. And then it was Laub on the outside. Lonnie followed by Stradivari. And the final time was 1 minute 58.31 seconds. It was Exaggerator's day today. Well, the fifth time was the charm for Exaggerator. He had been 0 for 4 against Nyquist today. He hands the favorite his first career defeat, as you see the Nyquist team. As Exaggerator Kent DeSormo was so confident, Keith DeSormo had confidence in his horse as well. A victory to the Prue brothers, the two brothers from Louisiana who started their professional careers at the racetrack in Maryland, and they come back to Maryland in triumph to take the Preakness Stakes. It was shocking that Exaggerator was so much closer than he normally is. Well, there was two things. 